Here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight, he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. For years, the UFC's welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camps. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the gentleman. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. Right back at the O2 Arena here in London, England, and man, are you willing to around these balls? Oh, John, 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 oh, John, John, oh, stop, John, oh, stop, John, <laughs> please stop. I don't want to go through. Okay, maybe in England, they might love you more, DC. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Big knee there. <laughs> Lands the side kick now. He's got that single collar tie. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him go play on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. And the strike lands clean. Frantic pace early on to this one. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Jab is on point right now. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Fighters separate from the clinch now. 
left hook landed on the button. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Lands to the body there. Looking to time that counter kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Low kick lands flush. Slips to avoid the right. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. He loaded up there on that high kick. Body kick landed. Not there. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, that looks like some head trauma. Beautiful combination. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big shot lands for both guys. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Sidekick, well placed. Oh, and that kick is blocked. able to find that precise range with the high kick. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the front. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right here. Right on the button. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Let your hand go. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Nice front kick. 
There's the kick, it's blocked. That's a big strike right there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, his foot's all messed up. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, nice. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters, when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. The right hand just misses. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Heavy kick downstairs. So, oh! Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. So, once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, that's bone on bone. Nicely done with the high kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Lands a good series of kicks here. Beautiful jab lands. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this you, point in the fight. I think so. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see... Oh! Lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Well, you know this is the hurt business. Both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Nicely done. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, body shot. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture, that means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on you. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big, straight left. Lands a nice leg kick. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. Now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Seconds winding down in round two. Round three coming up next. Okay. No problem. Relax. Take that didn't go your way last round, but we know how to fix it. I want you to pretend you're going to exchange with this guy. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous ten minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action. Putting their foot on the gas 
and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight and we're still so evenly matched and the fight has been so close to this point. Trying to kick the leg out. Boom, straight left hand. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Strong straight left there. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Just out of range with that left hook. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from the close. Nice body shot. And the kick lands. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. And he blocks the shot there. Just over three minutes to go. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Nice combination of kicks. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not gonna help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to land a nasty flying knee to the head. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Got a single collar tie. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a tumble either. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the belt. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Trying to recover full guard there. And he is back up to his feet. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg kicks whatsoever, despite the obvious visible damage we now see. And, and you can see it early, John. Very early you saw that he was almost dismissive of that attack. But I believe that now we're getting to a point where if he doesn't address it, he's gonna get finished with leg kicks. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Great job blocking that shot. Single collar tie now. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Nice leg kick. Under a minute to go in the round. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Nasty body kick downstairs. Unable to connect with a right hook. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Tough man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between them. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round.
All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five hundred rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus four. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix it up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, well, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you come the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for certain. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Sneaky head kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Just over three minutes to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him pulling that kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That bruising's getting out of control. The bruising's getting bad. And it's starting to get to a point where you gotta keep an eye on whether or not this guy will be able to finish the fight. Nice little right hook there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Two minutes to go. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Man, his thigh is just a mess of bruises right now. It looks like my son took out a couple of markers. How much more can he take, Chris? Not much. I mean, it's swollen. It's purple. It's blue. It's black. He's been beat up. I mean, you are now starting to see the benefits of following a game plan, recognizing the path, and taking that path. Now lands a kick to the body. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and a pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh! All right, so 
right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another to employ. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he does bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Twenty seconds to go. Nice punch lands. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the streets. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When <laughs> Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that. The ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness, but if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Nice block and the follow-up counter with the jab. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Sidekick, well done. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Well, at this point, he is... Outstanding job finding a place for that knee. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut... Oh, he landed a flying knee to the head. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice target change in him attacking the body. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Circling to his right. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Big, big. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Those jabs are landing, though. Two minutes now to go in this one. Back up. The question is for how long? And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, big diamond punch to the head. All right, 
right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night, back and forth on both sides, and referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed out. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion, or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There have been some bleak moments for both. Both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this last minute. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. 45 seconds remain in the round. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. The big shots being landed on both sides here. Deep now. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. All right, so he continues to land and right on that cut. Getting a little bit hard to watch right now with all the blood coming out. Yeah, but you know, sometimes you got guys that cut easily. Beautiful diving strike lands. Man, great job finding a way out, finding it right. back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. The Ladies official decision is now in and resides rounds, with Bruce Bowen. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, the gentleman. All right, so another one bites the dust, another challenger goes by the wayside. Congratulations to the still undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. There he is. Hard 25 minutes fought here tonight, but he goes out the way he came in, undisputed as the king of the 170s in the UFC.